Guys, this is the long-awaited video that everyone's been waiting for and it's finally here and I'm going to be evaluating your audition videos and back in the day when I first started making K-pop audition videos I used to do this all the time and it was kind of like an ongoing thing until it was like overwhelming and that's kind of when I started making my own course where I help you guys with your audition and provide more so one-on-one -on -one personalized audition advice and also feedback for your um, audition videos but in today's video I thought I would show you guys how I step-by-step -step evaluate your video and how that process kind of goes I mean I've done these videos in the past where I just kind of show the video and then like blurt it out like my feedback like verbalize it I suppose but I want to show you guys exactly how I type my audition responses out so that you can see like maybe how a judge is really looks at your video when they are going through it and you know as an audition judge myself I think I can definitely say that so I asked on Instagram on my story I posted it for like 10 minutes saying okay email me all videos and I'll evaluate them like the first couple of ones I see so I'm just doing the first video that was sent to me you guys okay and the first dance video that was sent to me was by Jaylee and so we're going to first download her video and I did peek through it just to make sure that you know it was an actual audition video before this but otherwise I've not seen it yet so we are joy just what am I saying we're just gonna watch it together and firstly what I'll do is a whole run through of the video to see how it looks um, anything that first you know glimpse of it I suppose before we actually get into the nitty-gritty of the audition video so let's watch it together some parts are going to have cut out audio because otherwise this video might be like taken down because of the audio but let's just listen to it watch it All right, looks good. I think it's actually pretty good, so I'll start. But I do have a couple of things that I want to talk about, I guess, or write about because we're going to be going through that together. And the first thing is actually the angle of the video. So let's write the write the feedback down together. Oh my god, why do I have so many tabs, bro? So I'm just gonna say hello. Thanks for submitting your video. <laughs> the first thing. Oop, the first thing that. At times, also, I think there was that part in the middle or towards the end where we couldn't see her face at all, like here. So you want to make sure that your angle is pretty much just like positioned kind of like face level but if that's not possible like a little lower than that um, it's a little bit awkward when the camera is looking almost up at the person it's just not the most you know it's just not the most flattering angle and it could definitely be better and maybe set up on a chair or you know have someone record it for you but I think that sometimes gets a little awkward so I get that so at times um, it is you are out of the frame Alrighty. So that's the first thing I noticed and then I also want to comment about her stage presence. And this is where I would go over the video again and kind of skip through some parts, look at specific parts that I want to highlight regarding stage presence. So I love that part. I think that part is really good when it comes to stage presence. So I'm going to write that timestamp down so I don't forget it and be like, this part for example was really strong in expressions and having this energy consistently throughout your performance ah, would be great to see so I think what she can improve on in terms of stage presence is definitely the spaghetti so the spaghetti I think could be a lot stronger and grab the attention of the judges just like that I think her energy and her stage presence increased um, throughout the video but it has to be strong from the beginning and 
that goes for any category really not just dancing so i'll comment about that especially the baby i'm a monster that part i think could really really utilize more facial expressions and i think the way that farita does it in baby monster is really strong so if she could reference that it would be a much better performance i'm gonna write that down so i said regarding stage presence you really want to start the video off strong so that you can captivate the judges immediately so in the beginning for the baby i'm a monster part make sure to really really utilize your facial expressions to your advantage and reference the original performance so that you can almost copy their expressions that's pretty much all I have to say about stage presence because I feel like it's pretty strong already. I think she just needs to build on that even more and have a stronger beginning. So those are the first things that I noticed in her video, but I want to go through it again and see if I missed any details and talk about more technical aspects and really timestamp that so she knows which part I'm talking about. Now at this time, I would usually pull up the choreography video if I want to reference that again and really compare directly. That's what I do for a lot of audition videos because really it's hard for me to know every single choreography and every single detail of it. And although I know the song pretty well, I'm not, you know, completely fluent in the choreography. So I pull that up and compare it usually. Okay, so performance video. So something like that I would, okay, amazing. <laughs> something like that I would pull up. Okay, so in that part, you can kind of see how Chiquita, Chiquita, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she still had stage presence even though she's like looking away from the ca camera a lot of the time and she kind of like turns her head in the way where you can see a lot of her face so that's kind of something that i would like to see in her video it's just like a small detail but adds up and also because it's placed in the beginning of the audition video it's quite important here's a sped up version of what i wrote in her email for this part now look at chiquita when she does this part very carefully she like really like after that part she like ends it really clearly and then moves on to the next move that's what i want to see in this video so i'm going to mention that i think the timestamp here was right there so i think 010 so it's supposed to be all my life and then you put your arms up look back on the video but she does it where it's all my life and then she puts her arms up so the timing for that is incorrect So it's like an easy mistake just because the move isn't following the lyrics directly, it's following the beat of the song. So it happens a lot, but it's hard to notice that when you've learned the choreography and that's just like kind of what you do now instead of reference, referencing, why can't I tell, referencing the original video. So for that part, I really want her to have- The fire alarm system has been activated. Stand by for further instructions. Yeah, so for that part, I really, really want her to utilize her facial expressions to her advantage and really just showcase her stage presence here. So if you look in the original performance, Ihan does a really great job of this. You can see how every, like, she's, she, she's really utilizing her facial expressions well. So I'm going to mention that in the uh, right up. That part is rushed for sure, and it doesn't look as clean as it should be. So I'm going to talk about that. If you can still hear the beeping in the background, I'm so sorry. I don't know why. Okay, there's probably a fire alarm, but I honestly don't care. Yeah, so that part is really, really messy. And that's just because she's not ending the moves well before moving on to the next one. Kind of what we talked about before, but just cleaning that up will make her execution look so much better. Okay, so that's the end of the video that I just watched, but I want to go through it once more just to see if there are any details that I missed. So let's go through it again. So the arms aren't really like clear. Like it's just kind of halfway done. So I think I want to see that more further out and just bigger, wider moves are always going to be your best friend. Here would be great to see. Alright, so I think that's the end of 
evaluating her audition video. This was quite fun doing this with you guys. Um, I'm gonna send this off to her. I'm gonna clean a couple of things. And this is what I ended up sending to her. Oh, and of course, thank you so much to Jay Lee for sending her video in. It was super nice to see. And I think you're doing a great job. I think it's really, really great. You have a very strong foundation, but these small tweaks here and there would really improve your audition video. So if you guys wanna see this for singing, for rapping, let me know down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Please stay where you are unless it's unsafe to do so. Don't use the elevators. Wait for further instructions. He sounds so done. He's like, oh, just wait for further instructions.